Hey there, this is Bogdana, your trusted real estate professional in Southern California. And today I'm back with my pros and cons series. In this video, you'll learn about five pros and five cons living in Cerritos, California. Short history, Cerritos got its name from Spanish Little Hills. And if you live in Cerritos right now, you know it's very flat land. So maybe a long time ago, we had some hills. But uh, before Cerritos got its name as Cerritos in 1967, it was a dairy valley among other cities around this uh, area we had all dairies and cows were walking around and producing milk and it was pretty much agricultural land cerritos alone had about 400 dairies over 100,000 cows and over 106,000 chickens as land value and property taxes in California rose in 1960s, agriculture became increasingly unprofitable and development pressure increased. So developers offered Cerritos farmers free land in North Corona so they can move there and they can build here track homes. And that's what happened eventually everyone moved to Norco, which used to be North Corona, called North Corona, and now it's Norco, California. City of Cerritos located in Southeast Los Angeles County, and as you can see here on the map, here our city of Los Angeles, here is city of Cerritos, and look how close it is to the nearest beach. Nearest beach would be Seal Beach or Long Beach, and um, it might take about 20, 25 minutes, depends on the traffic to get to the beach. This city also surrounded by Bellflower, Norwalk, Buena Park, La Mirada, Cypress, Lakewood. If um, we look closer, city has lots of freeways. It pretty much has 605, 91, and five freeway going through the city. So you will be having access to any of these freeways. Now with 17 parks in Cerritos, and population over 50,000 people, Cerritos has become a go-to city for grammar, middle, and high school parents. According to niche.com, all the schools rank AA+, and of course it attracts families with young children. And also there are Cerritos College and uh, ABC Adult School as well. The education system in Cerritos is the best in the area. Pros number two, high rankings in multiple areas. You can see that Cerritos ranks number 18 as the best place to retire in California. Number 30, best suburb for young professionals in California. Number 50, best suburb to live in California. Pros number three is diversity. The city is very diverse. Who lives in Cerritos? mostly educated people, families raising kids because of high-ranking schools, and the highest percentage goes to 65 plus years old categories because the city ranks number 18 for being best place to retire. Median household income is over $100,000. 35% of the household makes between 75,000 to 149,000. One word or phrase best describe the people who live in this area. Comfortable, quiet and safe, friendly, family oriented. 75% of residents think they have a good sense of community. Pros number four, big city amenities. The biggest amenities Cerritos has to offer is of course Cerritos Mall in Cerritos. And I know many of you probably already know, but this is the biggest place to go shopping, for closing, dining as well. You see tons of restaurants, lots of stores for kids, there are Disney's and uh, the Victoria's Secret, there are all kind of different brands. The biggest auto park locates in Cerritos and if you expand this map you can see all this area it's all out of zone of Cerritos if we can go to Cerritos Auto Squared and you can see how massive it is all this area it's 
for you to choose your perfect car. As we move on another side of Cerritos, we see Cerritos performing art, which is an amazing place very that attracts famous performers. Beach Boys and Johnny Cash were here as well in their time. Cerritos Library is one of the biggest libraries in the area and uh, it has this amazing feel when you walk in you just totally if you you never visit it you i highly suggest to stop by at this library and just walk around you actually can spend all day here at this library there are tons of uh, there are really nice aquarium look at this amazing layouts uh, either a cafe you can eat you can educate yourself and you have spent you can spend amazing time spending your day here and right near Cerritos library there's sculpture garden check this out very very interesting you never been try take your kids there for a few hours it's amazing sculptures look at this look at that and of course the newest addition to Inceritos Amazon fresh if you haven't visited check it out a great selection and I'm sure it's a great experience shopping at Amazon Fresh. And pros number five, outdoor activities. So here you see City of Cerritos. And we just can see the biggest parks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven here, right? But there are tons of smaller parks as well. So I want to show you this one that right here of Del Amo Boulevard and this park has what a lot of you might like a gym in the park and you don't have to have a gym at home if you like to work out outside you can totally use this park for that it has a little lake the next park Heritage Park very very famous park right here and uh, lots of events it's always busy Lots of people who do any engagements or birthdays or other other events, graduation parties, they come here to take pictures because do you see why? It's amazing scenery. If you've never been to Heritage Park, please visit. Check this out. Very nice park. And of course, as I already mentioned, Cerritos is very close to the beach where you can go surfing and swimming and just uh, spending time with the family. That's it about five pros. And now we're gonna move to five cons. What is so bad about the city? Why wouldn't you wanna live here? So con number one is cost of living. Cost of living is compared to national average and national average is a hundred. Cost of living scores and indexes are a way to compare the overall price and goods and services between different areas of the United States. The national average is 100, so when you look at the place's cost of in, uh, living index, you can instantly see how much more or less you will have to pay to live there. If a place has a cost of living of 135, then it's 35% more expensive to live there than the national average. If a place has a uh, cost of living index of 85, then it's 15% cheaper than the national average of the entire country. The biggest factor in cost of living is housing. Buying a house or apartment or renting one. Cost of living in Cerritos is according to best 
places.net 79.5 percent cons number two housing housing in cerritos as is all over the state of california is a scarce it's shortage of housing shortage of new built homes and shortage of homes that exist in homes that is not hardly ever go for sale let's check on median prices in cerritos on pacific west association of real estate for may 2022 and you can see single family homes right here you can see some right now this year it's $975,000 median price and on uh, townhomes and condos median sales price in Cerritos is $545,000 for this last year there are one area in Cerritos that called Cerritos Villa so this condos located behind ABC adult school in a very quiet neighborhood uh, it has really like a single family home feel and you can buy it for uh, some of them even under 500,000. Con number three is air quality. As you remember on this map, city is surrounded by freeways and uh, you can see 605 going through the city, 91 and even five right there. All these cars drive into the city, it does create the pollution. The annual best places air quality index for the Cerritos area is 50% and the US average is 58%. This is based on the new measures of hazardous air pollutant from the EPA called the National Air Toxics Assessment. And number four, overcrowding. The city is overcrowded. 5,575 people per square mile. The number of people per household in Cerritos is 3.3 and the US average of people per household is 2.6. And con number five is commuting. If you decided to live in Cerritos, you must have a car. And when you drive, be careful how you're driving. You must take defensive classes because there are a lot of, remember, a lot of people over 65 and a lot of new people who come and just start learning to drive. According to bestplaces.net, the typical American commute has been getting longer each year since 2010. The average one-way commute in Cerritos takes 33.6 minutes and the average of US is 26.4 minutes so the commute is longer anywhere you want to go you have to drive and here you can see how people in Cerritos get to work so 82.3 percent drive their own car alone 9.3 percent carpool with others 5 percent work from home and 2.3 percent take mass transit as you can see that public transportation is not common in Cerritos. And here is the tips for you. If you are thinking to relocate to Cerritos, be friendly, know how to drive a car, nothing happened after 9 p.m., introduce yourself to the neighbors and get to know your neighbors. And also don't forget to check the description for free homes for sale in Cerritos. I appreciate you watching, staying with me to the end. Thank you so much and I see you next time.